Hello everyone, this is Zook again, and as you can see, I gave in to all of you uh, MMM spammers out there and decided to try myself with a Marauder. And it, I hated it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I did. The good thing about this video, though, is that you get to see um, a technique that I've recently discovered, which is you use a grid and you print out a paper with that respective grid and you put a piece of tracing paper on top, or vellum, and you use the gr same grid on your reference image and it makes it much easier to draw what you see and uh, you don't screw up proportions <coughs> and all that stuff now the reason why I used it here is because I tried drawing this uh, freehand and it's just I don't know what the hell is wrong with Blizzard but they, they seem to be really obsessed with tubes and rings like seriously this character is ridden with them. It's tubes and friggin' rings all over the place and I, I, I started hating drawing it like 20 minutes in but I like to finish things so I just kept on with it. <coughs> now this made it much easier to uh, to draw the initial sketch. I, w I did use a reference image. I had to. Um, it's probably the second image on Google Images, I think, if you search for it. But I did do a few improvisations on the, the weapons and a bit on the armor because, well, on one hand, I wasn't skilled enough to <laughs> exactly replicate the ones in the 3D model. And secondly, I wanted to give it a personal touch because that's what I like to do with uh, all the things I draw. The reason I found this uh, Marauder annoying to draw is because it doesn't really leave you a lot of room for improv. Like, it's basically armor and that's about it you know it doesn't have spikes you can put on it doesn't have uh, extra limbs or whatever like zerg do you know it's it's pretty straightforward it's a humanoid in armor so i wasn't really pleased with uh, the experience overall cuz it took like i think it was 4 hours or 5 hours well the drawing itself took 3 hours start to finish but with the breaks and everything it took about four or five and with the practice I did before that let's uh, put it at about six so it took a long damn time for this and uh, I'm supposed to be going to the gym in a couple of hours and I haven't really slept yet so I don't know how that's gonna go but uh, also another thing in this video is at some point my camera decided to stop recording and I lost an entire half hour of it. Basically, the uh, the right hand gun does not appear in this video, which is a shame because uh, that was probably the most fun thing to draw in this entire entire picture. So once my sketch is done, I was planning on uh, transferring it to to paper, but then I remembered that I've seen people use vellum as their drawing medium, and I decided to give it a shot and see how it goes because vellum has a, a pretty grainy texture and it's regular, you know, it's not like paper where it's all over the place. With vellum at least you get a sort of a, a smooth and grainy texture at the same time and it's, you know, you can depend on it. So I gave it a shot and I was really pleased with uh, how well pencil came out on it. I'm, I'm actually anxious to try out my new pencils which are in the mail right now, the Prismacolors, which uh, is a brand used by most if not all concept, well not all, I know that for sure, but a lot of concept artists out there use uh, Prismacolors. They have a very very unique feel to them and they're made of sort of waxy charcoal -y sort of thing so you get pure black easily with them and that's, uh, that's really nice. So I started with one shoulder piece just to see how it would look like and I really I really like the texture it gives so I just kept doing it and I swear to God, I have no idea how a human would fit in this armor. I I don't really know much about StarCraft lore. I've read a few books, but Marauders being relatively new, I don't know much about them. So how does a human fit in that armor? Because that's w just the, s the chest piece is wider than, than a human torso. So how, how do the arms uh, get out of there and get into the guns? You know, you'd have to be a pretty, pretty wide person to do that and even then it's uh, it's a long stretch but anyway I'm not gonna question uh, Blizzard's logic we've all seen the introductory video for StarCraft where a guy f miraculously fits into this ginormous suit of armor so I guess it's the same principle here so yeah what I was saying earlier about the tubes and the rings I 
Who would ever need so many goddamn tubes and rings on them? I mean, really. Why? There's like so many freaking rings all over the place. On the arms, on the guns, on the, the chest, on the legs. They just went all out with this one. I don't know. What it, it's like they did, did it on purpose just to, to screw with me. But anyway, enough of my wine now. I'm um, drawing the little reactor slash whatever it is on his back. Um, once in a while I do look at the image to see like what exactly these pieces are supposed to be doing because the thing with drawing something mechanical is it's hard to draw it if you don't know what it does. You know, if I, if I were to draw an engine, I would have no idea. It would be very, very hard for me because I don't know what each piece does. If uh, if something has a logical explanation, then it's easier to draw than uh, than if it doesn't. That's why I find it so fun to draw organic things because not everything. I mean, you know, in nature, yes, in nature, everything has a purpose and an explanation. But in fantasy, that's that's not you know that's not always true. Some things are just there to, you know, like a peacock's uh, feathers. They're just there to, to be there, to attract attention, to, you know, just for show. So yes, I am uh, very displeased with my experience of drawing a, a Terran unit. I'll probably not do it again for a while because, to be honest, you know, I thought this drawing took like seven hours, and then I looked at the clock and it had only taken three, which is pretty standard for for drawing of this complexity for me at least and I was like holy crap it, w it, it seemed like it lasted forever because I just didn't enjoy drawing it like I did uh, with the other units so it's just too close to human uh, too close to humanoid uh, for me I, I, I like drawing things that are as far as uh, as far away as possible from uh, from things that are human, you know, which is why Terran is something, is my least favorite thing to draw. But people have been asking for it, and they, uh, some have even called me out saying that I can't draw Terran. So I decided to give it a shot. And I'm a completionist, so I went through with it. But I'll definitely be doing something Zerg just to, uh, to get some enjoyment from it next time. Or maybe even Protoss, I'll see. At least Protoss are more organic than Terran. Not much to say here. I'm just doing the um, exhaust pipes, I think, on his chest. People have asked um, how I shade metal, but metal is really no big deal. You just very short strokes. You just do very short strokes left to right, following the contour of the object. Like you can see on the shoulder, it looks sort of shiny, but not brand new shiny. It's it's you know it's kind of a tattered look. Which is good for Terran since they are always in a combat and battle and uh, all that stuff. Now the tube is, you know, I've drawn tubes before, you've seen me do it. You always have to remember to have a core shadow and a highlight and a reflected light. Because light will reflect on the tubes on a suit of this complexity. you got like a bajillion angles everywhere on which light uh, bounces off or from which light bounces off. So. I'm not sure if it looks 100% realistic the way I did it here, but um, I just went with whatever felt good. And again, uh, we get the uh, graphite glare. I can't wait for my new pencils to get rid of that annoying... Now, this is where the video skipped, and uh, <laughs> it's a shame because I was just going to talk about uh, the things I improvised on the gun, because I did improvise a lot on that gun. Uh, it's almost nothing like the original image. I just put a lot of extra holes and tubes and rings. You know, the classic thing. I must have drawn like 150,000 rings for this picture. Apparently marauders are big fans of metal rings all over their, their bodies. Which is fine. Who am I to judge? I was getting pretty stressed at this point. I was about halfway, well not halfway, more than halfway done and I just didn't know what the hell these things and pieces of armor are are used for. Like, okay, I get it that marauders shoot stuff and then they shoot concussive shells or whatever it is. But why do they need like three gun barrels and uh, like a million small pieces on their guns? You know, a, a typical grenade launcher is uh, is pretty s simple and straightforward. But yeah, these guys are are very high tech and very annoying to draw. And in the 3D model, the armor is at a very weird angle. Like you, you don't get a lot of typical geometric shapes that you would get while drawing something mechanical. 
that's made up by you or me. Um, it's basically straight angles going into round, going back into straight, going back into round. So it's just something very complex to draw in perspective that I probably screwed up royally on this picture. I mean, anyone with a trained eye would uh, point out like 50 mistakes from the start, but I wanted to finish because uh, giving up at this point is just not an option for me. After putting in so much time and research and effort into it, I was going to do a speed painting of, uh, of this character at start, but it didn't turn out very well. And I, I just don't like speed painting on a tablet as much as I like drawing. I, you can see, I can see better. I can feel what's supposed to be there better than when I'm looking at a screen. It's just not very natural for me. I'll have to get used to it eventually because anyone that draws uh, nowadays uses a tablet as well and that's uh, something that's required if if I'm to make any sort of uh, a career move in this area I'm just gonna grab a drink because my mouth is dry but yeah drawing this character definitely reminded me why I've never got into drawing mech I just there's just something about mech that that puts me off. I did a lot of improvisation on his chest. On his, uh, I split the armor in two with a line in the middle and uh, give it some extra effects. The Marauders have two small faucets on their chests for some reason. Those are uh, those are a pain in the ass to draw in perspective. I just uh, sort of scribbled something there and gave up on it. But overall, I'm, I mean, I was pleased with how the character came out. It could have been better, definitely. But that's the problem when you draw something that you don't like uh, or that you're not happy with 100%. It, it never turns out as good as it could. And this, this, this time, it has nothing to do with the hour I'm drawing. I'm sure it's late, but I usually sleep during the day anyway. It's just, I didn't like the character. And I'm definitely gonna not going to draw Thor for people <laughs> asking, because I know there have been a few. At least not yet, until I've drawn more mech and feel comfortable with all the small bits and pieces that make up their armors, because I just don't want to waste time. If I'm like three hours into a drawing and then I decide it's utter, utter crap and erase the whole thing, then that will be... It'll just be very demotivating. And I like to make videos as often as I can, because you know it, this is stuff that takes a long time to make. I mean, the drawing, the sketches take like an hour or two. The drawing in itself takes three or four hours. Uh, encoding takes about an hour and a half, because apparently Premiere Pro was not made to import WMVs, which is what the webcam records in. So it takes about 30 minutes just to import the files, and then encoding them, setting them up, cutting them, and figuring out what the hell to say on top of the video. <laughs> It, it all takes like more than half a day most of the time but I try to make them as often as possible nowadays because I see people really like them and I really like doing it it's also very good practice for me so yeah but uh, you should definitely give it a shot with the the gr whole grid thing at, that I mentioned at the beginning of the video it's I found it very very useful and it's something that I discovered recently and a lot of people seem to be using it es especially good for beginners but even someone that has uh, some experience can uh, it just saves time sure I could have probably gotten the shapes down freehand eventually I just didn't wanna you know why spend two hours doing it when you can spend 25 minutes it just makes sense plus I would have probably went for like the same pose so there would be no reason for me not to use it now I guess I can take the time to talk a bit about materials um, what I used in this video was a mechanical pencil for the sketch because I didn't want to use up my shading pencils. As you can see, they're pretty short now. Ever since I started doing these drawings, they've been getting shorter and shorter because I draw at a... Yeah, they're pretty taxing on the pencils, which is why I'm uh, anxiously waiting for my new ones. But I used a B pencil for the small details because I didn't want to go crazy with the 7B, and I used the 7B for the large pieces of armor, like on its chest, shoulders, and all that stuff. I'm just erasing the smudges on the vellum. As you can see, it, it was pretty okay on the vellum. I, I really liked the, the the contrast it gave and the sh shadows, how they carried on. I, I would say it's even better than on paper. But yeah, I hope you, you liked this video more than I did, and I'll see you next time. Bye.